Bonjour tout le monde and welcome to Musings of a Fox. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Gabrielle and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a a bittersweet video. Um, again, you guys know me, I'm, I'm a crier, so I do this before I put on the makeup. Long time watchers of my channel know that our cat passed away really suddenly, really awfully, a year ago. Um, April 5th to be exact. His passing was really sudden, really unexpected, out of nowhere, and just really earth-shattering for us. Um, it sent me into therapy for grief, depression, anxiety, and PTSD. And one of the things I talked about with my therapist was how to memorialize this incredible creature in like a me way. I mean, you can hold services if you want for your pet, and I totally understand that, but it was... We were literally, uh, uh, we were down like catatonic <laughs> to be fantastic. And so, you know, we didn't really get to do much in the immediacy of his passing. So I talked with her about the idea of doing, oh, I'm getting so flushed. <laughs> I talked with her about the idea of doing a makeup tutorial honoring him because he was such a beautiful creature. And, you know, makeup is one of the ways that I express myself, it's my art, it's my passion, and she thought that was a great idea. And so I went out and bought all this stuff to do it, and then it was too hard to get on camera for a long time, and then it was too hard once I was on camera to talk about him without crying, <laughs> like in last year's birthday video. So I'm finally ready. It's We just got through the one year anniversary, and so I want to celebrate him and give you guys an incredible look. I am so, so proud of myself for this look. I think it's really unexpected from me. Doing this incredible look is um, a beautiful memorial to him, but also it's me stepping up my makeup game and I'm really excited for where my makeup skills will go now that I have shown myself what I can really do. If you survived that preamble, um, let's get to this epic epic makeup look inspired by my cat Tucker. I'm just priming my lid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. A good deal of it. We want a nice lovely sticky base. So I'm taking Naked Ultimate Basics and these two shadows and this one over here for the outer corner. This palette was actually my wedding makeup palette so I thought it was really appropriate to do this palette in his look. Our wedding cake topper actually featured him. There was the bride and groom and then also a kitty. So I am just covering most of my upper eyelid in Faith. And the tool doing most of the work is a Smith 235. This brush is just all the blending for me. <laughs> it makes me look so good. In order to deepen up the crease, I am taking a Luxie 207 and Lockout. Taking a Sigma SS219 into Blackjack to just have a lot of fun in that other corner. So Tucker was a tabby Maine Coon, and so I really wanted to incorporate a lot of those browns and kind of brownish blacks in the look. I'm going to cover about the outer third of the eye with this. It's one of those funny things that people take pride in when they have <laughs> nothing physical to do with it, but it's just funny when people are like, oh my gosh, your dog, your cat, so beautiful. It's like, thank you, I had nothing to do with their breeding, but yes, they are aesthetically <laughs> pleasing to me too. But I totally take the compliment like I'm the parent who made a beautiful cat. I just, that's just how it is. Humans are weird. Okay, now here's the part where I really hold my breath, and I'm sure you have seen this all over YouTube, so it won't necessarily be something new, but I'm gonna be doing a modern cut crease with, of course, a uh, Shape Tape by Tarte, and a flat-headed brush from Urban Decay. I think this is one of the pat naked, naked palette flat brushes. This will include the trick that I have learned that I'm sure many of you know. <laughs> um, that has made cut creases like almost easy. Still very delicate work, but almost easy. So we're going to cover our lid like normal, like you would with a typical eyeshadow, up to your natural crease. So 
okay if it's a bit messy for this part until you get to this outer portion that you want to make sure is definitely not messy. Very gently go over into your dark. You want to just gently go into the dark but with kind of brush flat so it does natural blending over that dark. So you want to put enough that makes your eyelid wet and then while it's wet you're going to open your eyes like a crazy person and see where it naturally is carved out a crease for you. That also helps prevent any of like the glittery stuff from getting in the clean mats up here. You haven't noticed cut creases are very draggy. <laughs> These are all, all drag techniques. So you're just going to kind of carve your new crease. It's definitely not your natural crease. Now here is the fun and mostly easy part and that's covering all of this in eyeshadow. And um, not long after you passed when I got the idea for this video, I found this eyeshadow from NYX called Bewitched and it just matches his beautiful green eyes perfectly. And now it matches my hair perfectly because, yes, I dyed my hair green in honor of my cat. I'm just going to slather this over most of that shape tape. Oh, I just love this color so much. It's so beautiful. If you're an old school MAC fan, this will probably remind you a lot of Juxt. Just a little bit limier. Not quite as... Juxt had a tendency to go pastel and minty. I loved pairing it with, um, not swimming, tempting, oh good, shimmer moss, that's what it was. I love pairing juxt and shimmer moss. So you do want to be careful because you spend all that time carving that you keep the green to where the shape tape is. Which is why it's best to use a flat headed brush like these to help you stay in the lines. If it gets a little messy, don't worry, the next step after the eyeshadow will clean it up for you. I'm going to try and gently work that blend between Blackjack and Bewitched. So taking a cleaned off version, cleaned off flathead brush or a new flathead brush, I'm going with Twisted from the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Palette and putting that in the inner third because my boy had beautiful green eyes with this beautiful outline of gold. And so I want to replicate that in as many places as possible. And these two just are create the most seamless blend you'd think it was a duochrome. I kind of like the name Twisted because my cat was a little twisted. He was a um, vengeful peer. We went to the vet many times about his vengeful being, and yeah, he would get mad if he got left alone too long. One time he just straight up peed inside my bra cup. He was, <laughs> he was very deliberate about it and just crawled inside my bra cup and just went pee. So digging Nyx's Epic Ink Liner, this is my new favorite pen liner. We're going to go for a very big wing. I have found it is much easier to do the wing first and the rest later. I know a lot of people like to go, you know, other stuff first, but I found that it's been leading to like really not sharp wings when I do it that way. All right, everyone, we have come to the hard part. I am taking Urban Decay's Razor Sharp Liner in Gold Rush and a Suva Beauty very fine tip brush. It is their 610 brush and I'm going to outline this entire thing including my liner in this beautiful sparkly gold liner. <laughs> so um, everyone hold your breath. Wish me luck because um, this would really suck if it goes wrong right now. I feel like the Mission Impossible music needs to start playing because I'm sweating that hard. <laughs> Pretty easy to go along the crease because that line is there for you. It's that outer part trying to meet up with the liner that um things can go weird. But sometimes your body just wants to spaz out from the dungeon. 
So when I was workshopping this look, you know, there's a lot of pressure to do a look, you know, that's in memoriam and make it something really remarkable. Oof. And, and it just looked, it looked not great. Um, and then I went back and I actually watched my Gamora tutorial and I was like, damn, I, you know, that was really difficult and intense to do and I was really proud of that and I'm like why don't you remember and just take a brush and paint on your eyeball and see what you can do. The nice thing is if it gets a little messy you can clean it up with black. If I can just know that I can at least fall off the tight rope slightly onto the black I can do a better job. Everyone can breathe now, we're fine. <laughs> These are... <sighs> I'm, yeah, I'm pretty thrilled with this. I really love it. Enjoy, Abby. All right, but we are not done with eyes yet, unfortunately. Um, so obviously this look needs killer lashes. And I found these lashes from Sugar Pill. It's hard to see. Um, let me take them out of the box and see if you can see it better. These are the Cinescent Lashes, and they are actually a mix of brown and black. And my kitty was a mix of brown and black. And so these look so much like his fur, and they're just really beautiful lashes. So we're going to pop those on. Um, I'm not going to make you guys sit through that, but I am going to use the Ilor Vegas Nay Lash Glue that I talked about in my selfie makeup. I'm obsessed with this lash glue. I've never liked any lash glue as much as I love this stuff and with the Cinescent Lashes. All right, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I put on my lashes, um, had a bit of an eye fiasco, so we're gonna hope that I can get through the rest of the video without my right eye just completely falling apart and turning into a hot mess. Um, so for complexion, I have already put on my Belief Aqua Bomb. So for this video's primer, I am taking the Luminous Blur Stick from Milk and just rubbing that all over my face. So we have a nice pretty glow under this foundation. Having to go a little bit heavy for foundation because uh, these eyes are serious eyes. So I don't feel like I can do like a light natural skin with full intense eyes. Um, for the blur stick I prefer to just kind of rub it in with my fingers. Which are clean, I promise. <laughs> for foundation I am taking Too Faced Born This Way in Warm Noon and smushing that all over my face. So now that I can actually talk because I'm not doing my eyes, um, for those wondering, so we adopted Tucker in 2009 as our one year anniversary present, which I know is a bit um, of a gamble to get an animal when you're 20 and you've been with your partner for a year, but that's just what we did. We had confidence and we're about to celebrate 11 years together, so I guess it worked out. Um, so we adopted Tucker from a cat rescue in Santa Barbara called Rescue Cat. It is run by an incredible woman named Jeffany. She just decided to start rescuing cats about 23 years ago. And she owns a house on the ocean in Santa Barbara and turned her big property into a cat rescue. And she takes in all the hard luck cases, the ones that others would put down, which actually included Tucker's litter because they had um, feline herpes and the rescue that originally, or pound that originally got them didn't have the funding to give them antibiotics and a wildfire broke out and they had to evacuate before they could euthanize and fortunately for my baby and all the other families that adopted his siblings, Jeffany grabbed all the cats she could and she personally locked Tucker and his litter in their bathroom and gave them their antibiotics and saved them. So now somewhere out there is um, their mom Lily, their sister Bunny, April, and Blue. And so, you know, I know Lily and Bunny went together. So four families were, you know, made whole by the fact that this one woman saved this litter. And for you those of you wondering, yes, our new kittens, who are now about seven months old, Castor and Hope, um, who do have their own Instagram. <laughs> um, they were also, res they were also, well actually they were born at Rescue Cats. 
her mom was taken in by Jeffany and so when we felt ready to adopt again I saw their photos and we were like and Jeffany when Tucker passed we're still friends with Jeffany so she wrote us a beautiful note and said when you're ready let me know and I will find you your second and third loves of your life so I know that I have a small channel I'm not obviously I'm aware of that but I have decided that with this video whatever money I make from monetization or anything like that I will be donating to rescue cats for the lifetime of this video so whatever it may be a small pittance but as soon as it makes a big enough amount to like you know I don't want to send Jeffany two dollar checks but whatever I make off this video will be donated to rescue cats I'll be donating in the anniversary of um, tax passing so if you would like to help this video go wide the more people want to see it the more money um, I can add to my donation to rescue cats um, for concealer I am taking the way too long named multi-use sculpting concealer from Too Faced Born This Way and just tiny little bits anything else Ugh. whatever that is Maybe whatever that is Oof, I'm just having a bad skin day, guys. It happens. Happens to all of us. Um, as I said in my last video, I have stopped my Smackney so I can test a another company. And I'm trying to let my skin settle to its natural form, which is obviously awful. I may be broken out, but at least I am so glowy. <laughs> at least I look illuminated, so I'll take it. I am going to quickly set this face with the Mystifying Mattifying High Def Powder from Lunatic Cosmetics. Taking a Laura Mercier brush, which has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> just that's the brush I just grabbed. And powdering down. I'm taking Snow Bunny from Too Faced because our tuck's nickname was Bunny. So... Not all the names have things to do, but when I get inspired, I get inspired. <laughs> so I have picked my blush because I believe it best matches his nose color, and that is Party from Tarte. He had such a beautiful, like, pinky peachy nose, and I would actually really like some time to go to Bite Beauty has a lip lab in San Francisco, and you can make your own custom colored lipsticks. I would really like to go and make one that matches his nose and of course call it Bunny. And in honor of him, let's just throw a little bit on my nose. <laughs> For the highlighter, I have this beautiful color from NYX in their Born to Glow series. I took the sticker off so I'm not sure but I will try to put the name down below for you guys. <laughs> I picked a kind of whitish glow because Tuck had this amazing white liner that I just could not copy. It was um, a little, a little too much, a little too Bianca Del Rio. So I decided to honor him with a nice blinding highlight instead. It has just like the slightest green tint to it, so I think it really goes with the eyes. So we've mostly given my eyes enough time to adjust, we shall see. But I'm just going to finish it off by going back into Blackjack from that Naked Ultimate Basics palette and an, eye, an IT Cosmetics brush and just run Blackjack along the lash line. I also want to make sure I blend Twisted more into that bottom liner. I'm also going to throw in a bit of perversion on the lower waterline off camera. So I want to keep my brows looking a little wild so I'm just going to go through them with some Benefit Gimme Brow in number three. Just uh, you know like a cat. They are technically tamed but so much less so than dogs. Because <laughs> my brows will truly never be fully domesticated. 
So I think a lot of people might go, oh, for a lip, you're going to do something natural. And probably if I was going to wear this outside, yes, I'd probably go for something like Urban Decay's uh, Fuel 2.0. But um, this is an homage to my kitty cat. And he had black lips. So it is only fitting that I, his mummy, do black lips. So to recreate my kitty's beautiful black lips, I'm going to use something a little bit heartstring pulley. I'm going to take Urban Decay's Perversion Liner and this beautiful Halloween liquid lipstick from Sugar Pill called Trick that has this beautiful rainbow sparkles. And I can't think of a better thing to honor my kitty over the rainbow bridge than a beautiful black rainbowy lip. <laughs> so, uh... Let's get gothy. So this specifically is a lip liner from Urban Decay in Perversion Black. Um, I have used it before in my Urban Decay Back Talk. It is a really great black lip liner because I'm currently not in possession of a black liquid lipstick. So if you have a favorite black lip, um, besides Trick, <laughs> let me know what would be a really good base. That's quite the look. <laughs> So here we have Trick. Alright, I'm going to tidy this up with some concealer and I will see you for the big full face hair down reveal. Alright guys, so here is my full feline look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you guys um, found some new tips and tricks to try with makeup to um, just kind of change your makeup game. Um, yeah. This video is really special to me. Um, <laughs> I'd hope to do a lot more talking in it, but you know, the makeup is just so complicated that it's kind of hard to talk over. But um, yeah, I really wanted to do justice for my beautiful boy and um, just show how inspirational he was to me. And yeah, um, I want to thank all of you who have stuck by me over the past year while I have been dealing with this. Um, I'm hoping to, in the future, um, explore the topic of pet grief because I think it's really uh, misunderstood. I think a lot of us feel a lot of guilt to get better faster, to get over it, you know, and all those kinds of things. And so I hope to get to a place where I feel um, I can talk about that without fearing any kind of negative feedback um, that the internet will bring. If you're curious as to kind of the grieving mindset I've been through. I'll have a link in the box to a little bit of a kind of blog post I wrote about it while I was in the deep throes of it to kind of understand what pet grief is like. Yeah, so I'm really proud of this look. I hope you guys love it as much as I do, and yeah, I will see you next time. Bye! Hey Tucker, are you wanna my video? Do you wanna show the internet how body positive you are about your tummy? Are you body positive? Or are you just treat positive? You're just cool. You just want to hang out here for the whole video? I don't think I can talk well and hold you at the same time. <laughs> Alright. You want to go play with your daddy? <laughs> <laughs>